So we're going to start in child's pose. Can't think of a better grounding pose for right now. Great pose to come into anytime during the day. Um, so knees apart, big toes touch. Walk your hands forward, and I'm going to offer a different, couple different variations with the arms. You can reach them out, interlace the fingers, and just have the thumbs facing up. So the knife edge, the pinky side edge of your fingers are touching down. And then forehead goes in between, and if you want it to feel super grounded, you can take a forehead to a block. So that's one variation. Or you're going to take the hands, cup the heels, and rest your forehead down on your mat or block. So pick what works for you. And then start to breathe. So your eyes can be closed right here, maybe your forehead side to side. Notice what's touching down on your mat on the earth. And take in inhales deep enough so that you feel your back body expand. So breathe into the back body. And as you exhale, you just sink, soften into the earth. And I found this quote by... Um, an unknown source, but it says, when you own your breath, nobody can steal your peace. When you own your breath, nobody can steal your peace. Good, and then on your next inhale, reach your arms forward and come on up to the tabletop. So you may have taken different arm variations there. From here, tuck your toes, come right into a downward facing dog. Maybe you bend your knees a little bit, lift your tail, and then lengthen your heel bones down toward your mat or soften them down. You can bend your knees again deeply and then straighten the legs. Maybe a few more times, bend knees and straighten. Bend and straighten. Good, now come forward, shoulders over the wrist, knees come down, inhale, cow. So heart comes forward, tailbone lifts, gaze ahead. And then exhale, press the earth away, round your spine, dog. Good, come forward, plank, knees come down, Tail lifts, chest lifts, gaze lifts, inhale. Exhale, press into your mat, start to round your spine, downward facing dog. And then a couple more times, move forward, knees down, inhale, cow. Exhale, start your rounding, and dog. Let's do two more, inhale, forward. back. Last one. Full around. And I must say, there's no other place I'd rather be than right here with you all in community and practicing yoga. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you for showing up today. Good. So take your knees back down and then Kick your right foot out to the side, and your left foot's going to come down so you're in a modified side plank. Maybe you come up on the fingertips of the right hand, or maybe for more grounding, you have your hand on a block, and it offers more space. Press your hips forward. Really press down into the toes on the back foot, and reach your left arm up and over the head. Inhale, expand through the side ribs, so it's like you're bowing them, and then exhale, soften. Inhale, take that rounding in the side ribs, and exhale, soften. One more, inhale, 
So getting the breath into the body as much as we can, all those little muscles we forget about. Now reach the left arm up, take the gaze up, act as if you're grabbing onto something that's gonna help you come all the way up, arms on a letter T. Toes can be tucked or untucked on the right leg. Maybe use the entirety of your shin to help you brace yourself here. Take the left arm, place it on the left leg, and then right arm goes up and over. So now we're opening up the right side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, soften, deepen. Inhale. Exhale, maybe take the gaze to that foot. Good, and then come on back up, arms at a letter T. Now we'll flow that whole thing. Keep this leg down the whole time. So right hand comes down, left arm up and over, and then you're coming up, arms at letter T, slide the hand down the leg, and then just keep that going. Check in with your breath. Make sure it's steady and smooth. And then last one. Good, place the right hand down, left arm up. Now lift the left leg. Option here to bend the knee and grab hold of the foot. Nice quad stretch here in front of the hips. Press forward, open up the heart. Gaze can be up or down. Drawing navel towards spine. Good, and then release the foot if you have it and come back to tabletop. And then downward facing dog in between. So just notice how the difference or how the sides feel different. Feel the breath circulate through your body. And then bring your knees back down. We're gonna switch sides. So now you're taking the left foot back, right leg straight, root down through the right foot, and then hips move forward, right arm reaches long over the head. Inhale, reach, stretch the muscles between the ribs. Exhale, soften. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, soften, good. One more round, inhale. Exhale. Now root down into all the toes on that right foot and come all the way up. Arms at a letter T, right hand to right leg, grounding here, and then left arm up and over. Gaze can be up or down or just play, move the head up and down. Then you tuck the toes or untuck the toes on that left foot, press down into the shin and reach long. And then we'll flow that. Keep the right leg strong and stable, right arm reaches up and over and then bring yourself to back up, slide the foot or the hand down the leg. This is how class is gonna go for me today. I'm not going to speak right. This is what happens when we have, you know, when we feel overwhelmed or there's a little anxiety happening. So just remember, pay attention to your breath and that I am human here. I might mess up a lot. All right, left hand comes down, lift the right leg, stay here if you choose or bind. Kick into the hand, hand pulls back on the foot, stretch the front of the hips, and breathe. Good, one more inhale, and exhale. Find your way back to tabletop, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, exhale, bend knees deeply, take the gaze forward, and then little steps or one big step or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold, stretch the backs of your legs. 
hinging at hips, soft neck, heavy head, option to grab hold of opposite elbows here, sway a little side to side. Breathing, shake head no. Not yet. And then place the hands back down on your mat and inhale, reach all the way up to the sky, get really tall. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, sway to the left. So that same feeling of opening up the muscles on the right side between the ribs, root down through the feet to find length in the body, all the way up through the fingertips and crown. Notice if one hip is popping forward, Try to square the hips, tailbone down. Come through center, inhale, switch the grip. Exhale over to the right. Bottom of sacrum points down. Gather the belly. And then come up through center. Interlace the fingers behind the back of the head. Take the elbows in toward each other. And inhale, lift heart. Lift gaze. Let the weight of your head sink into your hands. And then draw the front of your ribs down toward your navel a little bit. Are you breathing? Inhale. Reach the arms up. Exhale. Hinge at hips. Fold. We're going to move here with breath. A touch. Inhale. Walk hands forward. Lift halfway. Look forward. Exhale. Fold. Empty the breath. Inhale. Reach up. Bring your palms together. Exhale. Hinge at hips. Fold. Full exhale. Inhale. Walk hands forward. Lift halfway. Exhale. Turn inside. Fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Find the cadence with your breath. Exhale, last one. Hinge at hips, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Full exhale, fold. Bend knees, sit hips back. No rush here, chair. Squeeze the glutes, gather up the belly. Bottom of sacrum can draw down a touch. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Take the shins back and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, Tadasana. Come to standing. Feel your body. Feel your breath moving in your body. Inhale. Exhale. Stay present. Stay focused. Take the hands to the hips. Step your right foot back. So start with squaring the hips, right hip forward a little bit. Spin your inner thighs in toward each other and back. Firmly root down into the left leg. And just to stay grounded, hands can be at hips or place them on your heart. And then just like a pendulum, you're moving forward with your torso. Your right leg lifts. Keep your right kneecap facing down toward your mat and breathe. Keep your heart open, gather your belly up, strong core. Okay, one-legged squats here. Four, three, bend the left knee and straighten for two, straighten. Last one. Good. Keep the left leg long and strong. Draw the right knee in front of you. Hips level with the hips and then cross the right thigh over the left. Eagle legs. Squeeze knees and thighs together. And then reach your arms out to the side. Right arm underneath the left. Decide what kind of bind you want to take. Sit the hips back deeper and create some space between the low belly and the upper thighs by drawing the bottom of the sacrum down a touch. Gaze forward. 
breathing into the back body. Still finding expansion on the inhale. On the exhale, we squeeze in toward the midline. Good. And then everyone unwind. Inhale, reach up. And then hands to the heart. Exhale. Good. Step your left foot back this time. Firmly root down into the right leg. Spin inner thighs together. Hands to hips. Gather belly. Maybe hands at the heart. And then airplane. Take flight. You choose your arm variation. I can't see you, so you get to do whatever you want here. Just stay with me. Left kneecap faces down. Breathe. Three squats, bend knee, straighten. For two, gather belly. For three. Good, with the strong standing leg, left knee comes in front of you. Eagle legs, left leg over the right. Squeeze legs together, sit hips back. Left arm underneath right. Choose your variation. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Good. Exhale, sit the hips back. Lift the low belly away from the thighs. Try to keep your spine nice and tall. Maybe play with closing your eyes. Trust your inner teacher among all the other noise that you might hear from your own mind or from others. One more full inhale. Exhale, sit back. And then unwind. Inhale, reach up. Hands together. Exhale to the heart. Okay, so step the right foot back. And I want your feet to be like they're on railroad tracks versus a uh, tightrope. The back foot faces forward a little bit, 45 degrees. And then sacrum draws down. Now bend into your front knee. You're setting up for warrior. So you may find this feels um, not as expansive as it can be. So step the back leg back. Good, let the arms dangle for a minute. And then lift the armpits to the ears and hug the shoulder blades toward each other. Sacrum down. Interlace the fingers behind the low back. Inhale, lift chest, lift gaze. Keep the integrity of the legs of your foundation. And exhale, fold inside your front knee if you can. Take the gaze to the back foot, drop the head down. And deep in the bend in your front knee while still lifting the bottom of that front thigh up. So lift the left hip up. Equanimity between the feet. Pressing down equally. Breathing. Where can you create more space in your body with your breath? More space in your thoughts. Good. Release the hands down, lift the back knee, and then take it down to your mat. Both hands come inside the front foot, walk them to the right. So they're coming to a diagonal toward the top of the mat. And take the hands at least shoulder width apart. Inhale, cow, basically. So chest forward, gaze forward. And then exhale, press them out away around the spine. Inhale, drop the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, press the earth away around the spine. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. 
Now take both hands inside your front foot. Keep your right hand stamped down. Left hand, left hip. Twist from the core first, and then just left arm comes up. So twisting from core. Act as if your front foot, your front heel is dragging to the back of your mat. And then take your left hand down. Lift your back knee, back thigh. And as gracefully as possible, step to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, other side. Left foot steps back. We're on our railroad tracks here. Right hip peels back. Make sure you have this nice long stance, front knee stacked right over your ankle. Lift your armpits up toward the ears and then starboard's chest open. Draw front ribs down. Interlace fingers the unhabitual way behind the low back. And then it's as if you're squeezing the arms together and pulling them apart at the same time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Keep those legs as strong as you can. Maybe fold inside the front leg. Rebend into the front knee. Gaze to the back foot. Breath. Where can you deepen? Where can you soften? Good. Release the hands down to your mat. Lift your back heel and then plant the back knee down. You might slide it back a touch. Walk both hands inside the front foot to the left. Keep the outer right hip peeling back. Inhale, this cow chest. Exhale, press your mat away, round your spine. So just dance with your breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, good, walk your hands back toward your front foot, left hand stays rooted, right hand, right hip, and then twisting from core, and then the right arm can come up, draw the bottom tips of the scapula toward one another. Right hand comes down, surround the front foot with your hands, pick up that back knee, back thigh, and then step forward, forward fold. Let all that go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, notice how your body feels right now. your hands to your hips, ground down into your left foot, left leg, lift your right knee, hip height. Now you get to choose, right hand can come wrap around the knee or shin, you might even take a yogi grip around the big toe, and then you're going to open the leg to the right, take your gaze to the left, and then maybe lift the arms to a letter T. Focus your gaze on something that's not moving. Breathe. Stay strong in your left leg. Use those glutes. Bring your right knee back through center. And now you're going to take the left hand around the front. Right arm reaches back. Make sure your front knee is not going too much into the midline. Slowly take the gaze back and draw the shoulder blades toward one another. Come back through center. I know the leg is burning, but you're with me. You're staying present. You take breaks when you need to. And then extend the right leg forward. Reach the arms up. Soften your shoulders. Soften your gaze and breathe. 
Notice your spine. Are you staying tall, confident? Are you cowering forward or going too far back? One more inhale. And exhale, release the foot. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Good, hands to hips. Right leg is strong. Left knee lifts, flex the foot. Take yogi grip or perhaps grab the knee and then open to the left. Arms might go out like a half letter T. Gaze can go to the right. You're focused, your core is strong. And you're breathing. Participate with your breath. Good. Come back through center. Reach your arms up. And then extend left leg long. It can be down here. It's totally fine. Lift it as high as you can. It's like you're hugging the skin on the outer left hip back. Lift up through the heel and breathe. Staying strong, staying steady, even when we feel a little bit wobbly. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Settle down into your feet. Stay receptive and open to the practice. Notice how you're feeling now compared to when you started. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. We're down into the feet, bend knees, chair. Sink the hips back. So take your left hand to your left hip and your right forearm can slide outside the left thigh. And then you're peeling your uh, head of the arm bone back on the right side and twisting so you're looking back behind you. If you want to deepen the twist, you'll slide the arm down more and then place the hands together. I've been playing a lot of rock, paper, scissors with my kids lately, so you can make a rock underneath paper, press them toward each other, and then sit back. Getting long through crown and tailbone, twisting, looking up or down. One more inhale. Exhale, release, fold and breathe. Inhale, breath. Stick out your tongue, lion. Bend knees, sit hips back, chair. Draw the bottom of the sacrum down, and then just let the hands hang. Right hand, right hip, left arm slides on top of your left thigh, palm faces up. Draw the head of the arm bone back, and then you decide. Take this deeper rock, paper, scissor variation, or press palms together. Trying to keep your knees as parallel as possible and shifting your weight back to your heels. Hug everything to the midline. One more inhale. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, breath. Lion. Good, step your right foot back. Crescent lunge, come on up, high lunge. So try to stack your back heel over the ball of the foot. Soften your shoulders down. Gaze is forward or potentially up. Take the hands to the heart, shift the torso forward, and you decide you're going to take 
this deep twist, hooking elbow to knee. Maybe you hover for some more core work, or maybe you take a higher twist. So do what feels good to you. Do what brings peace within. Keep your right hip lifted. Looking back always can help us inform the present. We can take information from the past, keep what we've learned. Good. And then wherever you're at, both hands come down and step forward, forward fold. Let that go. Step the left foot back. Arms reach up, crescent lunge. You're here for a few rounds of breath. Straighten the back leg. Maybe you need a longer stance, more space in between your feet. So you've got that space between kind of effort and ease. Where does it feel good? Where does it feel like that spot where you could stay in the pose for an hour? What you want to find. Hands to heart, hinge forward. You decide the twist that you want to take. And you're breathing. You're lifting your left hip up. You're pressing down into the toes and the ball of the back foot. And you've got this oppositional pull. So find length from your back foot through your crown, all while maintaining steady breath. Good, both hands come down. Step forward, forward fold. Release, and root down into your feet to reach all the way up. Inhale, and exhale, hands to heart. Notice how you're feeling. Notice the rate of your breath. Is it smooth or steady? Is it a little erratic or sporadic? All right, shifting the weight into the left leg. Bend your right knee and reach for the inside of the right foot. Draw your knees together, bottom of sacrum down. Left arm reaches up, stay here, enjoy. Or kick into the back hand, gazes forward. Maybe even down a little bit so you're not cranking on your neck. Keep the right knee hugging into your midline. Collarbones square and open. Gather your belly toward your spine. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then come on up. Vertical. Take a moment. Crown down into the feet. And switch. Right leg is strong, reaching for the inside of the left foot, and then reach your right arm up, tailbone down, shoulder blades down, breathe. And then you choose where you're gonna take this. Have that equanimity between kicking into the hand, and the hand pulling back to the foot. Fine tune anything you can here, a pose that you may have been in hundreds of times in this class. Can you breathe deeply with it? One more inhale. And exhale, release. Feel your body. 
Bring your attention to your breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at hips, fold. Step your right foot back. Take your back heel down. Pinky toe edge parallel with the back of the mat. Deep bend into your front knee. Open the right arm up. Sink deeper into the left knee. And then walk your fingertips forward on the left side so that the left thumb is kind of lined up with your pinky toe. Reach the right arm. Open the heart. Straighten your back leg. And draw your tailbone to your back heel. Now take your right hand to your right hip and launch off the back leg. You're going to find half moon. And I want you to be touching a block or your mat in half moon. I want you to feel grounded and supported. Keep lifting up through your right leg, drawing your tailbone toward your lifted heel. And then sugar cane, bending the right knee, reaching for the foot, kick into the hand, peel the chest open, and shoulder blades toward each other and down your back. Good. Slowly let go of the foot. Take both hands down to your mat and turn the right kneecap to face your mat. Lift your right leg higher, hinge at your hips and fold. See if you can lift up equally equal sides or lifting up on both sides of the right ankle a lifted ankle maybe one hand wraps around the leg maybe the other cage your left glutes and then slowly slowly right foot comes down next to the left Whew, hinge up hips fold Step the left foot back, setting up for your warrior two stance. Right hand outside of right foot and walk it forward. Maybe you want that block handy. Left arm reaches up first. Rebend into your front knee. Open your heart. And take your gaze up or down. Take your top hand to your top hip. Maybe walk your hand forward more. Little steps or one big lift with the back leg. Fingers are touching something. A block, your mat. Belly hugs in, tailbone lengthens with the back leg. Left arm reaches up. Maybe take your gaze up and then bend your upper knee, reach for the foot. So lucky I have this wall here. <laughs> Keep your breath alive. Unhook the foot. Take your left hand down to your mat or blocks. Peel your left hip down, left kneecap faces your mat, hinge at your hips, reach with your sternum forward, and maybe one hand wraps around the leg, maybe the other, gaze back, breath alive. the left leg a little higher, flex the foot, and then slowly, slowly bring it next to the right. Hinge at hips, fold. Good, and then inhale, come all the way up. Hands together, exhale to the heart. 
Arms by the sides, Tadasana, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, open your eyes. All right, last standing balance. We're gonna take the weight into the I don't know. The left leg's still on. Wait, what was it? Oh, yeah. Take the weight into the left leg. Hands and hips. Step your right foot back. So just like we were setting up for airplane before. Inner thighs in toward each other. Hands at hips or onto the heart. Lift the right leg. Now, take both hands down to your mat again or your block. I want you to stay long in your spine, left hand, left hip, and then with the back foot, point the toes down toward your mat. That'll help keep your hips in alignment. Scoop your belly up and reach the left arm up. So revolved half moon, super hard and weird and awkward. Gaze can be up or down. And then you choose, maybe you bend the back knee and grab onto the foot. And you're breathing. And your fingers are touching down on your mat or your block. Scoop the heart forward, gather the belly up. Release the foot if you have it. Both hands down. Forward fold. Inhale, breath. Stick out your tongue. Lion. Come all the way up. Good. Other side. Weight shifts into the right foot. Left foot steps back. Spin inner thighs together, hands to hips. And then slowly. To make yourself into this capital letter T, bring your hands down, straighten your standing leg, and then flex the lifted foot. Point the toes down. Right hand, right hip, scoop heart forward, gather belly up. Right arm reaches up. Option to bend the upper knee and reach for the foot. You're breathing, you're smiling. Remembering we're in community, we're supported here. You've got the bind, release. Both hands come down to your matter block. And forward fold, inhale. Exhale. Good. Walk your feet back, downward facing dog. Stay here for a couple rounds of breath. Notice how this one feels now compared to the beginning of class. Walk your shoulders forward over your wrists. You get to choose the First variation we took with modified side plank where knee comes down, or you're going to take this side plank where the feet stack, and actually the bones stack, right? So legs are stacked, shoulders stacked, left arm reaches up. Keep your right hip lifted, engage through your obliques. Flex the toes toward your nose and maybe lift the left leg. Gaze can be up or down. And because we've been opening up um, and stretching the quads in quite a few poses, you might decide to bend the upper knee and reach for the foot. Press your hips forward and breathe. It's, it's hard. <sighs> when you're done playing, come back through plank. Breathe and switch. Left hand down. 
Take the variation you want right now. Lift the left hip. Stack your bones. Spin your inner thighs together and back. Maybe lift the right leg. Maybe bend the upper knee and reach for the foot. You're done playing, come back, bring your knees down, come all the way to your belly, crocodile, stack your hands, forehead down, so this is kind of a little bit of a rest for you, I want you to drink water if you need to, otherwise stay still. Of course, you can be on your back if face down doesn't work for you right now. Either way, I want you to feel either your belly connecting to your mat as you inhale or exhale. And if you're on your back, I want your hands on your belly. I'm trying to keep that breath from popping up into the heart space and the throat. Inhale, belly expands, presses down into your mat. Exhale, belly softens. Feel the fullness of your body and your breath. The richness of what's happening here in your body. Your heart rate muscles. Take time to pause. Receive your practice thus far. One more inhale. And exhale. Good. So if you're not on your belly, we're going to go into some back bends. So join me on uh, my belly, you're going to keep the hands stacked just like in crocodile where we were. Forehead is going to be down. Legs can be as wide as a letter B. <clears throat> and then don't leave the pinky toes out. Try to press them down too. Gather your belly up to the spine. Lengthen your tailbone back. You're just going to keep the legs down and lift the chest and the arms. So hands are still stacked. They're glued to the forehead, and you're lifting up. Elbows are wide, and you're breathing into your low back. So sensation is good, and you're using breath because you're strengthening your low back. Pain, not good. Come back down. And then we all release. Reach your arms back. Palms face down. Forehead down. Lift your armpits toward your ears, and then draw the head of the arm bones up to the ceiling while your scapula goes toward each other and down your back. Now interlace your fingers behind your low back. Lift your chest. Lift your legs. Take your gaze down and forward. And get as long as you can from toes through crown. And breathe. One more inhale, and exhale, release, good, and you can take locust or floor bow, grabbing holds of the feet, lifting the head of the arm bones away from your mat, and then kicking into the hands, drawing the chest up, and lifting everything up, and breathing. One more inhale, lift, exhale, slowly release down lower, maybe bend your knees and windshield wiper your shins side to side, and then we're going to flip to our back. We still have work to do, so don't leave me yet. All right, so come onto your back, take your feet down. Hips with distance apart. 
All right, we're gonna do this kind of moving, flowy bridge work. So point your pubic bone forward, sits bones forward. Lift your arms up to the sky. Fingertips are wide and awake and alive. Lift your hips. Reach your arms back, inhale. Exhale, arms come up, hips come down. Inhale, reach arms up, lift hips. Exhale, hips down, arms down. Two more rounds, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, so stay here. I want you to take another bridge and hold it or slide a block underneath the sacrum or we'll take wheel. Set the hands, fingertips face the heels, elbows draw in, feet might point out just a touch with the knees. Roll the sits bones forward, lift the hips, maybe walk your fingers closer toward your shoulders. And then dip the hips down, soften the glutes, they'll do the work, roll to the top of the head, and to the hairline as much as you can. Plug the arms back in the socket, ground down into the feet and lift, chest and hips. Maybe walk your feet a little bit closer to the hands, maybe you come up on the balls of the feet, lift the heels, press up, draw the elbows in toward each other, take the gaze up a little bit and breathe. One more inhale, tuck your chin, exhale, come on down. Good. Bring the feet to where we set up with bridge and then just take the knees side to side. Extend both legs long. Actually, let's do a little core work. So take the legs up. Stabilize the low back after those back bends. Interlace your fingers behind your head and then draw the elbows toward each other. Let the weight of your head sink into your hands. Lift your chest, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Now, squeeze the legs together, slowly lower them down and we're gonna hold this. So we're holding here. If your low back is peeling up so much, I want you to take your legs back up. Don't compromise the back. Breathe. And then take the legs back up. We've got two more. Legs lower. Elbows hug in. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Smile. Squeeze the legs together. Lift them back up. We've got one more, I'm shaking, it's all good. Legs squeeze together, lower to your ability. Can you still breathe? Let the breath be your teacher. And lift the legs up, good, bend the knees, shoulders down, feet down, windshield wiper. Take your legs long, and then hug the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers around the shin. Pull the right knee toward your right armpit. Tuck your chin a little bit. Straighten your right leg up. Interlace the fingers behind the thigh, or wherever is accessible for you. Keep the left leg strong and long. Point or flex the foot or take some circles. Breath is still steady. Good, draw the knee in. Left hand outside, right knee. Cross over your body to the left for a twist. Melt your shoulder blades down. Maybe close the eyes. Good, and then 
on back to your back. Hug your right knee in more one more time. And thank your right leg for all its hard work today. Gratitude for our bodies. Our right leg extends. Stay, notice the difference between the sides. And left knee comes in, interlace fingers. Pull the knee toward the armpit. Relax your jaw. Extend your left leg up, interlace fingers around the thigh. Stretch out those beautiful legs of yours and breathe. Point and flex the foot or take some circles. Good. Bend the left knee. Right hand on top of the left knee. And roll it over to the right. Gaze over to the left. Shoulder blades soften down. And then come back to your back. Take happy baby pose. So knees wide toward the armpits. Soles the feet face up. Maybe you rock and roll a little side to side. Or straighten one leg. Straighten the other leg or both. And then bring your feet down to your mat. And then you choose here, soles of feet together, knees wide, one hand heart, one hand belly. Or perhaps you want Shavasana, you want to end in a seat, or legs up the wall is the pose I could suggest to you for um, calming the central nervous system down, legs up the wall. Awesome. So choose this last pose for you. Stay connected and grounded. For Shavasana to stay grounded, perhaps you take a blanket over you or a block on top of your, um, probably either like your chest or your belly. I don't want it to feel like it's constricting you, but just more grounding. So I wrote a couple things down about breath. So how does yoga impact? our respiratory system. It decreases the respiratory rate and calms the nervous system. Expands lung capacity, allowing for more efficient exchange of gases between cells. And more efficient breathing is linked to improve cardiovascular health, health lowers blood pressure, and for yogis, it's the way that we can shape our nervous system. It's our practice on our mat that teaches us how to take that practice into real life, how to focus on breath when big sensations and emotions happen. helps calm us. So wherever you're at, I want you to exhale out your breath. And then I want you to fill up your lungs. Biggest inhale you can take in. Once you get to that final point, see if you can sip in a little bit more air. 
and then slowly exhale out. So you get to stay wherever you're at or slowly make your way to a seat. If it's nighttime for you, just encourage you to stay as long as you can in your final relaxation. Just come to your seat, eyes closed. Fold your hands together in front of your heart. Feel how your sensations, the sensations are beginning to soften. Feel the quality of your breath. Know that the mind wants to pull you in all different directions, but let's just bathe in the afterglow of the practice. Soften your face, soften your body. When you own your breath, nobody can steal your peace. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste.